So now we're going to go through the steps of creating a, um, we're going to go through the steps of creating a provisioning profile. So we have our app right here. This is our good old dependency injection app with all of our, you know, our protocols and our view model and our tests. And of course, we put in this uh, acronym, see what it stands for, and they're all the words that it can stand for. Okay. So we have that. Now, um, we know this works. We know that it was testable. It's time to take our app and prepare it for um, a development provisioning profile. Remember, we talked about how in when, we, when you're doing a distribution provisioning profile, which is going stuff that goes to the app store, right? Um, a distribution provisioning profile, you don't need to create a provisioning profile, right? It generates it automatically for you. But for development, you know, for things like tests and stuff like that, you will have to create the provisioning profile manually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go back here and we go here, okay? We're logging into our, um, yeah, let's log back into our uh, account. Right now we're in the account and um, hold on. so um. Again, let's go to the top of this. So we're we're in the developer, right? Account, right? Certificates, identifiers. And what we want to do is, first of all, we want to create an identifier. That's the first thing we want to do. We've already created our certificates, right? If we look at keychain access, right? Keychain access. Um, our certificates are there, right? We have a distribution certificate and a development certificate, okay? So we don't have to worry about that. And I make that point because a long time ago when I first started, I created a certificate every time I made an app. No, those certificates can be used for multiple apps. Um, they just, you know, they just have an expiration. When they expire, you either have to replace them or update them. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we already have certificates. Now we need an identifier, right? So to create an identifier, we go here, right? We wanna make an app ID. Of course, I've already gone over this, right? app continue okay and i want to say dependency injection app of course that's not what we're gonna what you're gonna name an app in the real world right dependency injection All right and i think i probably spelled dependency wrong right right Dependency injection. Now, where do I get the bundle ID? Because uh, you know your um, um, you already have your team ID. Your team ID is in here, okay. Um, and I only have one team ID. You get your bundle ID from your Xcode. Go back here, click on this, then you go here, click on that, then you go here. Oh, Lord. oh crap. Ugh. All right. Sorry about that. Um then I instead of going here and trying to copy this, I go to capabilities and signing bundle ID. Command C. 
right? That's where I get it, okay? Then I go back to um, the developer uh, on developer.apple.com and I paste that bundle ID, bundle ID there, continue. And then I register, right? And now a dependency injection app, that's my identifier. So I have my identifier. Now I have to go and create my profile. So I'll go here, generate a profile. Go here. This is a development app provisioning profile. I click here, continue. Um, then I look for my app ID, development, 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 dependency injection right here. This is it right there, okay? Go to continue. Um, I select this um, provisioning profile, continue. And the devices, of course, this device is for, um, so what I did was there is a device plugged in, right? And I'm gonna use it for this development. It is Dimitri's iPhone. Now, if you wanna check what devices are connected to your machine, because you need to have your device connected to your machine, okay? You plug it into your machine and then you unlock it, okay? Using your, you know, your USB-C and lightning cable, right? Um, connection. Um, if you don't know what that is, you need to Google it because um, you're going to be using that over and over again. You come back to your Xcode and then you go to Window, Window, Devices and Simulators, and here I am right here. And Dimitri's phone is there, okay? So now that I have this, um, Dimitri thing is, is tied into it, and I need to come back here. Um, his iPhone, his phone is selected, his device selected. I continue. Provisioning profile name, dependency injection profile. Dependency injection. Profile. Okay, then I generate, I download. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I go here, then I double click. And this should be added to my, um, uh, to my account. So I do it, give me a second. So now what you're going to do is you have this downloaded, your um, your um, provisioning profile. You downloaded it from here, right? Click download. You're going to, you can download it from here. You can go up to, let me go back to accounts, right? Profiles. And you can click on here, download it here. You go into here, download it there, right? It'll be in your downloads folder. It'll be in your downloads folder. Um, once it's done that, then you will go to your window, devices and simulators. Okay, you have your device here. And then you're gonna click the plus button. This is the phone that is set up. You're gonna go next. Okay. And it should be, that is if this thing is still unlocked, right? It's not unlocked. Four, nine, seven, oh. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. This device is set up. Next, your device. Setup was successful, done, okay. And now, um, um, give me a second. Morning.
Okay, let's, let's do this again. I go here. No, sorry. Uh, 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 cancel. Okay, we'll go to window, uh, device and simulators. Let me make sure this is open. Let me choose thing. I go here. Okay. Um, and then device. Uh, Okay, so um, there are a few issues with the um, reasoning profile. So we're going to say window, devices and simulators. And so here's the thing. This is the app, right? In general, what you do is you go to this, show provisioning profiles, and then usually you'll click this button and you'll go into your, and you'll add it, right? And then install, then it should be okay, right? But there is an error. This error basically says that Fail to install one or more provisioning profiles on the device. Please ensure that the provisioning profile is configured for the device. If not, please try to generate a new profile. It is configured for the device. There's something else going on. I am not sure. But, um, yeah, um, not sure. Not sure what's going on. But that is how you do it. Then you click Done. And you should have this set up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some research um, and figure out what it is. But that's how you go about doing that. Um, I'm going to make another video eventually that shows how to correct this. But I know I've done some stuff with this, with this device and it worked, but... I went back and I deleted it so I could show you guys from scratch. Somewhere along the line, I messed up something. So, um, yeah, it happens. On to the next.